you may already know that the trajectory of a projectile is parabolic in shape if we ignore air resistance. Now I'm going to show you the proof. Let's start with a projectile shot at a speed VO and angle theta above the horizontal. Again, we have to separate the horizontal and the vertical sides. And the first thing is uh, we have to find the components for the slanted velocity. So again, we're making a rectangle. And this here is the horizontal component of the initial velocity VO. And that one is the vertical component of the initial velocity. So the horizontal initial velocity, again, it's adjacent to the angle, so it's uh, hypotenuse times cosine theta, VO cosine theta. The vertical component is the same as this side, which is opposite to the angle, so the vertical component is VO times the sine theta. Again, the acceleration on the vertical side is negative g. Our goal here is to show that the shape of this path is a parabola. Since this path represents the position of the projectile at various moments, we can make a horizontal axis for the horizontal position x and the vertical axis for the vertical position y, like this. If we make the initial position the origin, then we can conveniently make these axes delta x and delta y. To show this trajectory is parabolic, we just have to show that delta y can be written as a function of delta x and that it is a second degree equation. So first, I can write displacement delta x at any moment. At any moment t. So t is a variable. And then we're writing the delta x as a function of t. Now the only equation we need to use on the horizontal side is delta x is uh, v times t. So the delta x would be v o cosine theta times t. Same thing on this side. At any moment t, what is the delta y? There is no final velocity, so we can say delta y is v o t plus one half a t squared, and the uh, VO is VO sine theta minus uh, G over 2 times T squared. Now instead of writing, oh, forgot my T. In instead of writing the delta Y as a function of T, now I want the delta Y as a function of delta X. That means uh, I can substitute t in terms of delta x. So I just have to solve for t over here. Delta x over v o cosine theta and then plug it in there. So I have delta y equals to v o sine theta times t and that means it will be delta x over v o cosine theta because t that is t minus g over 2 times t squared and what is t? delta x over v o cosine theta. All these are constants. Constants. So delta y is a second degree equation in terms of uh, delta x. That is why this is a parabola. I can simplify it a little bit and I get this. But basically, delta y is a second degree equation. Now, what if a projectile is shot horizontally instead of the, at an angle? That just means uh, theta is zero. If you plug in theta is zero, everything still works. You'll still get a second degree equation, so the trajectory is still a parabola. If this projectile is shot at an angle below the horizontal, that means your theta is a negative number. 
you plug in that negative angle here, you'll still get a second degree equation. So it is still a parabola shape. So this trajectory or that trajectory, any of these, they are all parabolas.